Hey there folks, I got a new knife for you. As you may notice already, this is a Karambit folder and by the logo, you know that this is a Wee Knives Karambit. Uh, specifically, this is uh, the Wee Knives 708 D as in David Karambit uh, frame lock knife. Now, there's just some knives out there that you just have to have because all the testosterone in you is just saying, please, 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 please buy me that knife. I need that knife. I need to hold that knife. And this is, this is one of them. I mean, totally impractical. I would never carry this out in the streets. I would never carry this as an EDC. But it's just so friggin' cool. I mean, it's just so cool. Have you guys ever experienced that? We just, I gotta buy that knife. I gotta buy that knife. I just gotta buy it. I gotta buy it. And this is the one. I mean, look how awesome this hawk bill on this karambit is. It's just, I have to say, this has got to be one of the coolest karambits I've ever seen in my life. I've been jonesing to buy it ever since Wee Knives posted it on Instagram. Uh, and it was released last week, and I jumped right on it, no hesitation, and it is sold out immediately. Apparently, I'm not the only one thinking about getting this gorgeous. I mean, it's just so cool, sexy. They have it in different irritations, um, irritations, iterations. So they have it in anode colors. They have it in coated blades. It's just really, really sexy. I know some of you guys already have it, so I just want to share it with you guys this weekend. I want to discuss it. So this is the 708D Karabit knife. Um, I'm sure guys like Doug Marqueda from, uh, of Forge and Fire would totally be perfect for this. I mean, that's what Doug does. He does these Karambit style, uh, martial arts, which, uh, I guess it's just self-defense. Uh, I mean, it's just a sexy, sexy knife. Let's get some specs on it. Now it is full titanium frame lock. It does have an over travel. Uh, I believe it has a ceramic detent, I believe, I believe, I believe, I could be wrong, but most uh, Wii knives have ceramic detent ball. Uh, the blade steel is CPM S35VN, standard for many, uh, I would say, high-end production knives. Uh, overall length, it is a smaller knife, overall length is open, is 6.5. 875, so under 7 inches. The blade length is even smaller, which is uh, 2.6. 2.6. Now, it is a hawk bill design. Very awesome looking. And it's a nice, nice, nice flat grind. It does, again, have that steel insert, like I said. Now, most Wee Knives, a little bit of Wee Knives. Wee Knives are just saturating the knife community with their knives. I mean, the first time I saw Wee Knives was in Blade Show 2016. Didn't know who they were. They had a gigantic booth. Not a table, a gigantic booth. They had these beautiful women selling the knives, making the pitch to you. My friend, General Death, Steve, uh, fell in love with one of the ladies, and uh, you can't really blame them. They were gorgeous. Sorry, Steve, don't want to get you in trouble with the missus, but you were drooling over them. Um, and they had all these beautiful knives, that, but I never heard of them. It looked like quality knives. It was titanium, good steel. I just never heard of them. That was a year ago. A year now, later, you all know about Wee Knives, pretty much. Pretty much. They saturated the market with all their folders and flippers and fixed blades. They range from $100 knives, and I think the most expensive knife they have is $295. Yeah, that's it, $295. They are a Chinese production company for the haters out there. But listen, you got to wake up. This is a legit Chinese company making legit knives and putting everybody on notice. They're, you know, they're not stealing designs. They're making their own designs. They might be borrowing concepts, but they're, they're legit. They are legit. And when they come to Blade Show, when I go to Blade Show 2017, I'm sure they're going to have awesome knives like they had last year, but just more awesome. And their prices range again from $100 to $295. The 295 one is their, their um, they have an integral, a titanium integral knife. $295. Who's ever heard of an integral knife? $295. And their integral knife, I don't have it, has this patented uh, pivot system. Because if you know that uh, with the integral knives, it's hard to get in there because it's one piece of titanium. So you kind of like have to guess them at the, the tolerances. But in this one, you can adjust it because 
the pivot system comes out this way and you can make adjustments on it. So that's pretty awesome. Maybe one day I can review one of those bad boys for you. Now, they make so many knives. They don't name their knives. They don't have cool name for them like the bat, karambit, I don't know. They have only numbers. They go from 600 to 700 series numbers. And then on top of that, they have so many... Uh, again, iterations of the knife that they go with letters. So it'll be 600A, 600B, 600C. There's so many. So they use no names, but they have a numbering and lettering system. They have different blade styles, blade shapes, all types of finishes and coatings and anodizing. I mean, I, I don't work for Wee Knives, folks. And I bought this. They didn't send me this. But it, it is pretty impressive what they're putting out there for the knife community. Um, they do milling like here. You get this milled, milling in the holes. They do inlays. They have inlays with different uh, materials. The only thing they haven't done yet, and I'm waiting for this Wee Knives. You guys are watching. They haven't done ballast songs. I want a Wee Knives ballast song. Can you imagine that? A Wee Knives ballast song is going to be under 300 bucks. I'm sure. If they're only charging you 300 bucks for the uh, integral, how much a ballast is going to be? How much is that going to be? Please, Wee Knives, make it come true. Make it come true. Now, my question about Wee Knives is that because they're putting out so many different models of their knives. Now, Blade HQ just did an awesome video. If you want to look at Blade HQ channel, they just they pretty much had everything on display that they have that was Wee Knives. So it'll give you an idea if you're not familiar with it, what models they have, flippers, uh, folders, middle flickers. They have everything. So if you want to take a look at that now. This is my thing. There is so many models, and it's great for the knife community if you're if you're over that Chinese produced knife thing. If you're over that, you're gonna get something awesome from Wee Knives, I think. Like this. I'm and I'm just gonna play with this at home. I'm just gonna watch TV, Batman, and, and flip it open and pretend I'm Batman. And that's really it. That's all I'm gonna do with it. I'm not gonna cut anything with it. Total collector, right? That's so, so awesome. But my question is for Wee Knives. Are they shooting themselves in the foot? Because they're making so many, so many different models, so many different versions of a knife. Are they competing with their own product line? Now, I'm not sure if they're making a limited run. Like if they made a limited run of this and they only did like 500 or even less, 250, then that's kind of cool. But if they're not and they're just producing and producing and producing, are they just going to stop making some of their models because they're going to just produce the one that are selling better or on more demand there's so many i don't know a company that's rise and made so many production knives in like a year i mean they're competing with like zt and all these other knife companies now as far as the chinese companies out there right now you know them they are riata knives steedmon or steadmon and kaiser they're in the same same line as we knives so they're they're there they're there making these look at look at that look at that Pocket clip. Are you kidding me? Awesome. They do have a proprietary pivot system. This star screw thing on my bob here. But they do provide you with the tool with that. So you can... And I believe these are all the same size. Even though this is... A, it looks big, big, bigger. It's all in the same tool. Look at the blade shape. Look at the thumb hole. Or the finger hole. Look at the finish, folks. Sick. The jimping. Just really gorgeous. Really beautiful. You, God, it's so awesome. I don't know how they make it so cheap. I don't know how to make it. Yeah, I know there's going to be people saying, no, that's not cheap, Mike. Hey, well, you know what? This was, I think this was 270 All this. And then some. Look at the other Karambi folders out there, folks. They're like 500 and up. Maybe. Right? The, uh, is our Karambits making a comeback? Maybe. A couple of uh, knife makers are making Karambits out there right now. Anyways, that's my rant. That's my rant on this awesome, sexy knife. Hopefully, this, I don't know if this is my last uh, video, video before Blade. I don't know if the wieners are going to get together before Blade, but we're all going there. Please look for us. Give us a hug. Give us a squeeze. Don't buy us a hot dog. We don't like hot dogs outside of ruts. <laughs> but the wieners will be there. Look for us at the pit. We will be at the pit. We'll probably do a wiener steal at the pit. Say hello. Don't ask to join the video. We won't let you. 
unless you're wiener approved. <laughs> All right, guys, peace.